What's going on, people? It's CK, and we're here again, seeking reactions. And we are back for another episode of Vinland Saga Season 2. Things have switched up a bit. As I'm sure everyone's noticed, we're about to get a switch up in terms of pacing. And A9 and Thorfinn are suddenly in a very dangerous situation. They were, they were living somewhat peacefully as slaves on Kettle's farm. And now Fox just decided to <laughs> help Omar with his issue of becoming a man. And said why don't you kill one of these slaves Aenar tried to say Thorfinn Thorfinn stepped in and said just get rid of me I have no issues with it and it basically gave us a very clear picture on exactly how Thorfinn feels since Askeladd's death just reflecting on his entire life all his regrets and just how empty and useless he feels in life pretty much and it's a it was a very powerful moment where not only is he talking about how like his views on death and life itself but while he's just standing there and just taking all this all these cuts and slashes he half of the back of his ear gets chipped off and he doesn't he doesn't react in any way that being said we just need to jump right into this one <laughs> you can tell Snake runs runs this whole group just on his own. <laughs> no one can say no to him. <laughs> Bullying the slaves, literally. Snake knows what's up with Fulfin. Jeez. Oi! Hey, that was cold. That was cold. <laughs> he sort of. Oi, he got the Ascalad flashbacks from Snake's killing intent. That was crazy. Fulfin was in control of the situation before, that's the difference. Whereas that happened unannounced. He went into fight or flight. That's that's not a threat either, that's a promise. You can already tell. None these guys aren't even gonna Bad eyelid at Fulfin anymore, and ain't not. Even Fulfin surprised. Yeah, is that what you call it? Yeah, word. Misbehavior. <laughs> Unruly. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, Fulfin's still he's following Escalade's philosophy though. Mm. 
Oh yeah, she was dead. Yeah. <laughs> Foofing is really out of it. Foofin knows that though. He's probably just never had to interact like this in so many years. He just doesn't even know what to how to respond. <laughs> oh man, Foofin is funny. That was obvious. Aino's not dumb. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Is this when he finds out? I don't... I don't know. Oh, wow, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Just like that. Someone like Fulfin's not going to hide the truth anyway. Fulfin, there's no way he has a number, but that's it's over 100. You don't, trust me, Aino, you don't want to know the number. <laughs> of course, of course. Fulfin was killing for years. That would be like asking guts. <laughs> How many people has he killed? That's difficult for him because he's already started to like and build a relationship with Fawthin, so he can't. He can't see him as just that, especially when it was in the past. That was the first invasion. They really just walked through and scorched that whole... Damn, that's sad. Nah. I'm waking up if I hear footsteps on haystacks like that. That's crazy. Damn. You can't even blame Aino. He he's a he's his anger is warranted completely. Especially because he never actually got to defend his mum or do, um sister. Yo, look at the veins in his hands. Oh my jeez. You wouldn't even have to choke him. You could just snap his neck. He's literally being haunted by his past. The ghosts of the dead. Cannot, you can't you can't even defend yourself in in the fourth in the position. Ano's not a killer though. He's not a killer. Wow, 
it's the same woman from that. Was, she was like episode three. Jeez. Damn. Them screams, man. Yeah, jeez. Look at the expression on his face. Again, this this farm mark is heavy. He 
heavy themes, heavy stuff. Just yeah, it's it's a lot. It's so. This is, in my opinion, where I think Aina. He has a lot. He has a lot of other moments, obviously, but this is where Aina shines the most, in my opinion, because it just goes to show you how he's very conflicted with how he should feel about forfeit, but at the same time, the words his mom spoke to him about living no matter what. He knows that someone like Fulfin, no matter how many sins or bad things he's done, also deserves a chance at that. So that's a very, very difficult life. If most people were Aenar, they are not doing what he did. That's a very difficult thing to do, what he just did. Just letting the rage take over is the easy one. He, he tried to take the honest and true route that is more, more true to himself. So. That was uh, that was very good, and of course, the part at the beginning where Fulfin, the parallels, Fulfin thinks he wants to die, he thinks he wants his life to end, he thinks his life's worthless, but now things are slowly coming back to him in terms of, for instance, with Snake, with the battle instinct, his body, his body don't want, don't want to die, clearly, um, him having these dreams as well, he obviously has regret. And is clinging on to something and wants something more. It's only a matter of time until he gets he gets the thoughts about his dad as well, Fours, because that's where it all started. When Fours died, he said him and Askeladd literally had the same words more or less for him. Um, find something to live for. I'm hyped, boy, I can't lie. This is you wouldn't even hear the word hyped and stuff like this, but no, nah, I'm excited for I'm excited for the continuation of this this season, man. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so far. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for the for the other videos I drop. Hope you all have a great day. And with that being said, people, I'm gone.